already then. I've been wanting to make a reorientation video about the hijab and where I've come in terms of what the hijab is, what I think it is, but also what I think other people think it is, and what hijabis think it is. I've been reading lots of stories, lots of news stories about who's doing what and who's thinking what and who's being fired from where and all this stuff uh, over the hijab. Um, it, it's it's very confusing, and I, I think you know to blame myself, I would say that the there is there is something about the hijab that is intrinsically confusing uh, because on one level it's an individual choice, on the other level it's kind of this mandated thing by a man, basically Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad. I think he talked about the hijab in the in, in the hadiths. But I also think he talked about, I, I think Allah himself talked about, uh, you know, uh, the the hijab in, in the Quran um, and about men's responsibilities and women's responsibilities when it came to covering up or lowering their gaze and things like that. Um, I've even read news articles about men who say that, um, you know, oh, well, you know, the responsibility of, of non-sexuality lies on men first before it lies on on women because in the in, in the Quran Allah addressed men's gaze and men's lustful glances and looks and things like that before it mentions women's desires and sexual sexuality and sexual desires um, and, and and because of that um, temporal disconnect it means that men are kind of addressed first Although women are given an extra addition to the whole thing, so maybe Allah was basically trying to compensate for saying, well, you know, I, okay, man, I was addressing you first in terms of lowering your gaze and not thinking about sex and things, um, but I but I don't, want, I, I don't want you to feel too bad, so what I'll do is I'll address the women second in the Quran in, in terms of hijab, um, but I will also give the women an extra little bonus, right? And this, I, I might be confusing things a little bit because I, I kind of been back and forth between the Hadith and the Quran, but um, generally speaking in the, in the Quran, I think women were given an extra little bit about dulling their sexualities and, and uh, you know, with, with, the, with, with cloth hijabs, like with, um, with literally curtains. So like you could take a, like curtains and any, Anyway, so, uh, so what is my point? My point is I've been reading a lot, I've been seeing a whole bunch of different perspectives on the thing, and this video was not supposed to be my reorientation when it came to the hijab and who, and who's doing what and who's doing what where. Um, but I want to say, like, you know, I, I will get to that video eventually. I just, I just want to say that as it is now, um... I want to talk about the hijab itself. So say if it was a man wearing a hijab or a woman wearing a hijab, it doesn't matter, right? This is not about some sort of sexual difference or gender difference or anything like that. It's obviously not. Um, but I'm saying, say, say, you know, say, say a woman was a woman was wearing the hijab or a man was wearing the hijab. Um, I think hijabis generally think about the hijab too positively, and we're all human, right? So we all have two sides of every argument. Now, if you're living in North America, um, you know, um, if you're living in, in a free world, in a free country, um, and you put something over your hair, and, you know, in the case of a burqa, you block your identity, um, because apparently it alludes to I think hijabis like to pseudonymize what they're talking about actually with, by using the word modest. Um, I think what that word is pseudonymizing is uh, is basically sexual proclivity, right? Um, and uh, let's like, I, I think we should be honest about that, right? Like I mean that the hijab is about is about denying sexuality, um, not just for the wearer but also for the the person who would have sexual desires for a woman without her hair without with her hair covered uh, without her hair covered anyway the point being is like there will be a negative view of anyone wearing a hijab a man or a woman thinking that because they don't wear if they did not wear one 
uh, there would be some sort of wild, violent, uh, ungodly exchange of sex. Like, uh, I, I, I think, I, I think that, that that's automatically viewed as kind of negative, um, because what what is the wearer saying, and, and what is the person, and what what what, the, what is the wearer saying about themselves, and what is the wearer saying about the people that are seeing him or her, right? It there there was a, there was a negativity there because you're 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 essentially calling out everyone who can view you lesbians, gay guys, uh, straight guys, anybody who can see you, children. Um, you're essentially calling them out as basically these deviants, these like sexual deviants. Um, you know they they, they want to just basically rape you, like they you know they they uh, you know and, and that is um, and, and that is very strange. Um, I mean, if hijabis wanted to find examples of women that have gotten through their careers um, without wearing hijabs, there is plenty. There are plenty of examples. Like there are, like there are. I bet you millions of examples of women who don't wear the hijab and have gotten very far in their careers and and in their lives. And you know, uh, you know, I, I I mean, this this religious belief you have is just really absurd. Um, anyway, this was not supposed to be my reorientation video when it came to the hijab, but I will say it again. Um, when, when women wear the hijab, they are not, um, they are not wearing clothes. I mean, there was one story in Quebec, you know, with Bill 21, of this woman that said, well, you know, I could work as a teacher in a, in a, in a, in a uh, school board. Um, on, you know, I, I could work without the hijab in a, in a school board Con if, if I could not wear the hijab only in front of women and children. So she's kind of disregarding lesbians um, and pubescent children. So, you know, so people... Any, anybody that's sexually mature would would be discounted from the from the 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 um, the, the, the non hijab scenario. Um, so what I'm saying is like what, what I'm trying to say is like the hijab from my my understanding at this point is not actually clothes. We're not actually talking about underwear or a bra or exposing your boobs or anything like that. Because you wouldn't expose your boobs or take your take your pants off in front of children or or lesbians or, or whatever. Like I mean, like you like you wouldn't do that if it was just clothes. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Like I mean, um, it's a religious symbol, and I think we we keep losing sight of that fact. The hijab is a religious symbol, and we always keep forgetting that it is a religious symbol. It is a religious symbol. I, I read this one story about this woman in Kentucky. Um, she was working at Chicken Express or something. It, it might have been Pennsylvania. I forget. Um, like Kentucky chicken. You know, you know how it goes, right? But yeah, all of a sudden one day. Well, maybe she had a, a lead up to it. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden one day, she decided to wear a hijab because all of a sudden she decided she was an immodest whore. And uh, you know, she had dependent children. She had a life built before she actually wore the hijab, and she was giving. She was really ready to like give it all up for the to, for covering her hair and her her hair and then have the the thing the the it's not an abaya but the, the thing that covers your breast and all this stuff um because all of a sudden she thought she was really immodest in her previous life her previous life also included her kids but i mean you know like she just decided to like just give all of this up um because she wanted to block her whorish ways, you know, like, and uh, that she that she had decided she was doing before, um, and it's religious belief. It's religious belief. that has nothing to do with. I'm I'm pretty sure if she wanted to make a sacrifice for her children, she would basically show up naked at work one day if her child's ch children's lives depended on it. Right? She probably would have. She probably would have. But I mean, this hijab thing, which is just kind of like, well, I'm willing to lose my job over not taking off my my whore blocker i mean you know like i mean it's really strange it's really strange anyway this was not supposed to be my rotation thing but that's all i gotta say bye